Welcome to the NSIC Spotlight, the voice of the NSIC student-athletes, powered by GPAC, GPAC, growing people and companies. I'm your host, Nick Corner, Assistant Commissioner at the Northern Sun. Today, we are joined by Abby Kermel of the Wayne State Women's Golf Team. Abby, thanks for joining us on the Spotlight. Thank you for having me. All right, before we get to your stellar performance from last week, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a sophomore at Wayne State College. I'm from East Lansing, Michigan, and my major is graphic design. All right. And how did you get into the game of golf and what brought you to Wayne State College? My dad is actually a PGA professional. So golf has kind of been around my whole life. It's just kind of been in the family too. My grandparents play, my mom plays and Wayne State. I picked Wayne State because I just love the school. When I got here, I love the intimacy of like getting to know your professors in the small classrooms. And I loved that I got to kind of start up a program with some other girls that just ended a few years earlier and that we could like kind of make some history. Make history you did. What a weekend for the Wildcats and yourself last weekend at the NSIC championship. You earned NSIC medalist honors and helped the Wildcats to a second place team finish. Uh, we're only three days removed, but has it sunk in yet that you're the NSIC medalist? It honestly has not. Like I still can't believe that it happened and I'm just really grateful for the opportunity and that I could manage to hold such a position. Now, you headed down south to get some warmer weather down in Smithville, Missouri, just outside Kansas City for the championship. Uh, but talk about those course, course conditions you had to deal with on those opening two rounds. So the first day, I think the wind might have gusted up to 40 miles per hour, which is kind of normal in Nebraska. So we were a little bit used to that. But the second day is when we really had to kick into high gear because the wind was gusting 55 miles per hour. And sometimes it felt like it was constantly blowing that. So it was kind of a struggle just to like change your game to adjust to those conditions. But I think me and the girls did a pretty good job considering what we placed um, with the course conditions. What would you describe as your strengths out on the course? I would say that how far I hit the ball really helped me, especially on the windier days. And my putting really saved me a lot of strokes. Uh, you had your most consistent play in your career as you shot rounds of 76, 76, and 78 to win by one stroke. How were you able to put your best stretch of golf together over these three days? I think it's just how we prepared practicing a lot and working on short game. I made sure to really put a lot of time into my short game before we left because that's usually where I struggle. And I think it showed in my play those days and my putting really helped me out. Entering that final round on Sunday, you held a two stroke lead. Were you checking the leaderboard during those rounds at all? Or were you just focused on doing what you needed to do? I tried my best not to look at the leaderboards because I just knew that that would be what got in my head and like really messed with my game. So I just made sure to play my game and try not to let that affect me at all. Uh, and then when was it that you found out that you were the NSIC medalist? I actually, on the 18th hole, we had just finished and we're saying good, good job today. Like great job. And I asked my coach and I'm like, Shannon won, right? The girl that was second place leading into day three, because I knew she had been playing really well that day. And he goes, no, you won. And I, I was just like baffled. Like I had no idea. I thought she had it in the bag. Like, even to the end. What an awesome moment to uh, find that out on the 18th green. Yeah. Um, a great performance by you, but uh, four others made the trip for the Wildcats. Tell us about your teammates that uh, made that second place run. So Paige Peters, Abby Broderson, Mecky Winurat, and Jasmine Taylor were the girls that got to go to the um, championship. We did a great job. I'm super proud of all of them. I know that it's not ideal conditions and some of the girls didn't play as well as they wanted to, but I still think they all did a, an amazing job. Like we got second place. I couldn't be more proud of them and they all stuck it through even through the bad rounds and I'm super proud of everyone. It's only the second year back for uh, Wayne State women's golf as a team sport. You were picked seventh in the preseason coaches poll. What does it mean for this program to have a second place team finish and for you to be the medalist? I think our team finishing second is a huge accomplishment, um, especially since we were picked seventh. And last year at the NSIC 
conference tournament, we got ninth place. So I think that's an amazing improvement. And the fact that we have been able to um, advance that far in our games just in two years is like remarkable to me. And I think these girls work so hard and it's just amazing that we can come together and shoot as well as we did. Well, as you mentioned, a young team, you're only a sophomore. Uh, as you enter the off season, what are your personal and team goals for next season? My personal goal is just to keep my game sharp, definitely work on my short game because that's what saves the most strokes. Um, for team goals, coach always says there's room for improvement, which there is in golf. Like you can always knock off a stroke. There's always some way to keep the team going and each girl working individually helps us come together and be able to come out on top. All right. Well, best of luck to you and the Wildcats. That's going to wrap up this week's show. Thank you again to our sponsor, GPAC. Abby, thanks for joining us and best of luck in the future. Thank you so much.